deal. It's um, it's been a big week on the track, and obviously heading into a big game against the Tigers this weekend. What's the the mood and the message um, among the players heading into Sunday? Yeah, I feel like the mood hasn't really changed for the last eight or nine weeks. It's we're enjoying our football and we're having fun on and off the track. So um, this week's no different, and. The message going on this week is exact same as last week. It's an elimination final for us. Back at the G, hopefully a big crowd. So we just need to put our best foot forward and play consistent football and hopefully we get the result. How do you as players kind of embrace that um, challenge, I guess? You know, Sam has spoken about it being an elimination final and for the next two weeks potentially are. How do you embrace that as a playing group? Yeah, it's a tough one. But Luke Bruce actually said to me maybe a month ago that it's pretty rare in football to win... 10 of your 12 games like even when they were winning in 13 14 15 it was you still lost games and it's pretty rare so enjoy it lean into that feeling so i feel like that's what we're doing really well at the moment is we're leaning into that feeling where there's a bit of pressure on the line but we're playing good football so the more pressure it seems the better we're performing so hopefully that just continues we've seen a number of players um, have fantastic years and, and you're one of them obviously in contention potentially for an all australian selection what have you put that down to this season uh a, f a few things i think I had a little bit of an interrupted pre-season with glandular fever and um, it actually helped me out a bit with working on my mind, so I couldn't do anything physical. So Adrian Hickmott worked really closely with me, he's my four-line coach this year, and he got me to do a bit of mindfulness and just mental resetting. So I did that for a good six weeks when I was sick and I've just carried that throughout the whole season just to keep me a bit more present and I'm a bit of an overthinker. So to be able to reset my mind and be able to use that in games has helped me be a bit more consistent. and. Um, being able to just get another pre-season in and feel physically capable of playing AFL football, I think that helps as well. Do you feel like Sam's really kind of energised the group this past month? Or what, what's the secret to his success in terms of connecting with the group? Yeah, Sam's great at connecting with the group. I think it's no secret that he's got great relationships with, with all of us. And um, But I feel like he's kind of taken a back seat this past month where he's let us kind of ride the wave a bit and connect together. So. Like we had an oppo meeting this morning and it was us players asking the questions. Sam didn't do anything, it was David Mackay at the front. Just We were asking him questions what we want to know. And I feel like that's something he's done really well is at times it's just like, I don't need to handle this, let the players, let all the coaches get involved. And um, obviously uh, a bit of an additive to this weekend's game being the ES Emergency Services. Um, that's always a nice little uh, side uh, plate to the, to the clash. Yeah, for sure. They came down um, during the week and we were able to say good day, thank them for their services. And then Josh Weddle's parents are in the police force. So um, every week they, they're really into their football and we get to kind of see them every week. So to be able to contribute to the whole emergency services has been great. And this week's no different. We get to see when we run on out, they're all going to be there in the guard of honour. So to be able to thank them and show our respect is, is always nice. I will take you back to um, some comments from uh, Luke Bruce and Jack Gunson throughout the week, obviously speaking about wanting to play on next year. What does that say for the group more broadly to see these you know, really experienced Premiership players wanting to stick around and be a part of this journey? Yeah, firstly, it just shows their character. Like They're so instrumental to everything we do at the football club and to have them mentor a lot of us has been, has been incredible, to be honest. And I think it shows you at, at this football club is people enjoy their time coming here. And it's a place where you wake up in the morning and you're happy to come to and you like spending your time here. So, yeah, for Jack and Luke to, to say that um, means a lot to the rest of us playing group. And honestly, it helps, helps us because the more time they spend at the football club, the easier it is for us to learn and the quicker we learn as well. And, um, and just lastly, the club uh, surpassed its membership record early this week and, and the tally's still counting heading into the final two home and away matches. Um, what's your message to, to the Brown and Gold faithful um, in, the, in these last couple of games? Yeah, it's great. Just, just stick with us. I think we're having a lot of fun on the field and um, for all the fans that are out there that are coming to every game, supporting us on socials, it means a lot. And nothing goes unnoticed with us. So we love the, the crowd, especially game day. We're playing in front of 70,000 probably half the time this year which has been absolutely amazing we feed off that it brings a bit more pressure to games and that's what we love so yeah couldn't thank our fans enough